Welcome, Gemini. I want to do your reading for September 2019. Let's see what's happening here. Let's get her on, get her done. Gemini, September 2019. Uh, a few more shuffles. Get a few more shuffles going here. Just wasn't enough. Gemini, please. September 2019. I gotta love Gemini readings. They're always into some kind of crazy. This. They never have a dull reading. I love Gemini. Gemini and Pisces. Never a dull moment. Okay, first thing. Well, okay. I'm ready to do some paperwork. I see the signing of documents. Like divorce papers. Separation of some sort. Yeah. You ready to sign those documents? You're not feeling any regret. It's been done for a while, a long time now. I'll say, yeah. I'll say there's a third party. Third party situation. I don't see that you that you caught a third party in the act. I'll say word of mouth. Someone has been talking, and not just someone. Someone's more than one person has been talking, and you believe it. I really don't blame you because I, I see it here, a third party situation. Anyways, it's done, it's a divorce, it's final, let's, let's get her over with. Now as I said before, third party doesn't actually mean that there's a sleeping around. A third party could also mean uh, there's uh, an influence on one side or both sides, on your side or his side. A strong influence that's uh, that you're believing. As an intrusive person, yeah, I don't think there was any sleeping around. I, I don't see, uh, I don't see any sleeping around here at all. I see an intrusive person, someone that won't mind their own damn business, and they have caused a lot of disruption. They caused a lot of trouble. You don't need friends like that. Cards are flipping over here, okay. This this was a hard love. Just give me a moment, Gemini. Let me look at this. You're coming out of this beautifully, but I can see it was a hard love, difficult situation. Signing documents doesn't also, it, it doesn't mean that you're actually signing documents. Signing documents to me can also mean uh, saying so long. The end of a relationship, the end of a a cycle.
but I also think that you should also end that cycle with uh, with this intrusive person, whoever that is. Not a nice person. Big busybody. What the hell is this? Okay, but when you back away, Gemini, when you say that's it, sign the documents, we're finished, we're split, I'm moving out or I'm moving on, and this person is coming back towards you. This, oh wow, this is a twin flame. Yeah, you got a twin flame, Gemini. Oh. There's change on the horizon. What's this change? Oh. I see a building with rows and rows of books. Only one building I know like that would be a library. And you're going into the library and you're picking up books. What are you picking up books on? Gemini, you're picking up books on uh, self-help, spirituality, psychological books, trying to find out who you are, what's going on, who am I. You're getting a calling. Something's calling you. Someone's calling you. The universe is calling you. Wow. Yeah. The universe is calling you. You're ascending. Don't be afraid of this. Don't be afraid of this. This this is this is groovy. Yeah, you're ascending. You're finding yourself. This is huge. Huge. Sleepless nights. Waking up tired. Restlessness, being called, ascending, finding yourself, looking for that peace, looking for you. Gemini, you're showing yourself as the Empress. Empress. Wow. You will be led to the right person because you're going within. Spending time alone. Time for you. Wow. I gotta shuffle. You're gonna find the right person. I gotta shuffle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Okay. <laughs> you know who the right person is? <laughs> the right person is someone who's ascending with you. You're both ascending. You're both getting the call. You're twin flame. The right person is the person that you just left. The person that caused you to go into solitude and and to go to the library and check out some books and Yeah. It's a person you just left. But all of a sudden the universe is bringing you back, bringing you both back together. Wow, wow. This is a kind of story that you, this is one for, for the books. This is a story for the books. 
Wow. This is a story that you could probably put in a magazine and say, this is how we came together. It, we got together, it didn't work. And we fought all the time, we acted stupid, things were bad. And we left, we signed the papers, we're done, we're finished. Uh, we went within, both of us going within, both. Uh, both ascending, both being called together. Finding out who we are, finding ourselves, and being led right back to where you started. Only, okay, okay uh, this is a crazy love story. Mm -hmm. Crazy love story. Mm -hmm. We got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They seem to show up a lot in my readings. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That, that's who your person is. I see a wish fulfilled. Definitely a wish fulfilled. Yeah, you will. You will come back together. Now I'm gonna. I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be all rosy. You're going to have some rocky trails ahead, but at least you're not going to be playing games with each other anymore. This is, this is wild. This is a hell of a love story. When you do get back together again, I see, you're going to work out all the kinks. It's going to be love. It's going to be joy, happiness. Ten of Cups. Yes, absolutely wonderful, wonderful things. Right side up. Wonderful things. Absolutely incredible. Three aces, one reading. Oh, wish fulfilled. This is the perfect, perfect, divine coming together, divine love. It's amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Wow, Gemini. <laughs> Cheers.